Hi guys, we're back. Um, what I did was I changed this. So this is, this is a completely different example. It is not listed on any of your notes or homework sheets that were attached. I just made it up on the spot here. I wanted to show you guys how to do this with a second example and one where, I'll write this a lot bigger for you. The equation given to you is not given to you in that template y equals mx plus b. So here's what we do. For the first part to graph this, you need to make it look like y equals mx plus b. So in order to do that, I need to move this x term to the right hand side of the equation. I'm also going to put a 1 in front of the x. So I'm going to subtract it from here and from here. 4y then equals negative 1x plus 12. Remember, you can't combine the terms here, so you can't say that 12 minus 1x is 11x. It just doesn't work that way. Then we divide by all parts of the y so that we can get y completely by itself. All right. So the template version, we also call it slope-intercept form, for number 10 is y equals negative 1 fourth x. 12 divided by 4 is 3, so you'd say plus 3. So we'd start three units above the origin on the y-axis. Remember, this is our y, this is our x. 1, 2, 3. And then this would indicate that we would go down 1, right 4 units from the point we just plotted. Down 1, right 1, 2, 3, 4. Or up 1, left 4. And that gives us number 10. So now, if we're doing basically the same thing we did on the previous example, graphing a line parallel to it, uh, the point here is negative 4, 5. So you'd go left 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember, if m equals negative a fourth, that means m parallel also equals negative one fourth. So that just means you're going to go down one, right four from that point you just plotted. Down one, right one, two, three, four. Down one, right one, two, three, four. Now, if it's perpendicular, the slope of a perpendicular line means you take negative one-fourth. If we're looking for the perpendicular slope, you flip it and then make it negative what it was originally. So if it was originally negative one-fourth, you're going to have a positive. 4 over 1. So that's going to be the slope of our new line. 1 negative 6 is all the way down here. And you're going to climb 4 up, 1 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Not my best line there, kind of messed that up a little bit. But you get the idea. Now, 
what if we were to try to write the equations of these lines without having any reference point to the lines given to us? Okay? So I'm just going to erase it right away. And we're going to say, what happens when all you have is this information? I'm going to go over here. <laughs> You're given that the line is x plus 4y equals 12. If I said to write the equation of the line parallel to it, write equation of line parallel to it, going through or traveling through negative 4, 5. How would you do that? Well, it's like this. I need the basic components for the equation of any line. So how do we put it in its template format? Well, we need m. And you should be very aware that m for parallel is the same as m on the original. So we've got to find the original m. So step one sort of like saying original m is parallel m. Original m equals parallel m. So go to your origi original equation, find m, which means probably get y by itself so that we can look at it in this format, it, which we already did. All right, we already we already said that x plus four y equals twelve. Um, I'll rework it just all the same. Negative 1x minus 1x divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 3. This tells us that m is equal to negative 1 fourth. So if m equals negative 1 fourth, m parallel equals negative one-fourth. All right. So this is where the walls come crumbling down. You've got the big piece of information. You've got the slope. You had a point, negative four, five. So x equals negative four, y equals five. Plug those into your template for the parallel line. And I guess if I'm using y parallel, I should indicate that it's also m parallel in there. Okay? Yeah. So then 5y equals m parallel times x, which is negative 4, plus b. So negative one fourth times negative four is positive one. Subtract one from both sides, you get b equals four. So without any kind of graph visual, you found that the equation of the line parallel to it was y equals negative one fourth x plus 4.
Now, what if you wanted to do that with the perpendicular line? Well, we've already got M original. I'm going to erase some stuff here. M original is negative a fourth. M perpendicular is positive 4. And I'm not even going to put 4 over 1 because we're using it in an algebra getting x by itself format or getting y by itself, sorry. So we just plug it into your template. y perpendicular equals m perpendicular x plus b. We've got our x and our y because I said it was 1 negative 6 is the, the point it traveled through. So x equals 1, y equals negative 6, m perpendicular equals 4, plug in all the parts, negative 6 for y, 4 for m perpendicular, 1 for x, plus b, 4 times 1 is 4, subtract 4 from both sides, negative 10 equals b. That gives us our second equation that was asked of us here. It's 4x, because the slope was 4, minus 10. So hopefully that was illuminating and helped you guys figure some stuff out a little bit better. I'm going to try to do part A on the very last problem. We'll see if we have time for that. Alright, so here's the idea. Given the following pairs of linear equations, determine if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And here's the big hint. you got to get y by itself to make it look like the template for equations. Alright, that tells you what the m is. And that's really what you're focusing on for these. So I'm just going to do a for you guys. b and c will be a part of the homework. So you got 3y minus 8x equals 16. 16x minus 6y equals 12. Your task is to get y by itself and then scrutinize or check out the m. So for this one, we're going to add 8x to both sides. And divide by 3. Sixteen thirds is five and a third, but again, that's not the piece of info we are uh, looking for. It's this. M is eight thirds. Now let's find M for the other. Subtract the 16 from both sides. Make sure you carry the negative on the 6y down with it. Divide both sides by negative 6. y equals, let's see, negative 16 over 6 is going to be a positive slope. 16 divided by 6, they're both divisible by 2. Half of 16 is 8. Half of 6 is 3. So it's 8 thirds x. And then this is minus 2. The only piece of info we're interested on this is 8 thirds, which means the slope for this line is 8 thirds. All right. Conclusion. M for the first one, 8 thirds. M for the second one, 8 thirds. Are the two lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? They're parallel. That's just part A. All right. So hopefully that clears up like the instructions on the assignment. Uh, this is going to be a two-day thing, so uh, I'm, I'm asking you guys to do a little bit more work, but you got plenty more time to figure stuff out. So um, good luck. If you have questions, please ask. Send me an email.